Hi, welcome. Let's quickly get to the point. Let's solve for the value of y here. And to do that, let's bring this to this side of the equation. And if we do that, we are going to have that 4y to the power of 3 minus 4 is equal to 0. Yes, this is plus 4. If it crosses the equation, it becomes minus 4. So look at what we have here. Let's divide through by 4 so that we we'll simplify the equation. So when we do that, we have this divided by 4, this divided by 4, this divided by 4. So we have y to the power of 3 minus 1 is equal to 0. What we have here is a polynomial of degree 3. So this is a cubic polynomial. So we are going to solve this as a cubic polynomial. I'm going to leave an end screen on how to solve cubic polynomial no matter the type there are several ways to solve it so i'm going to leave it as a as an end screen at the end of this video so that you can just click on it and watch it directly okay so let's continue at this point i want to thank all um, victory in the scriptures thank you so much for the super thanks that you gave to me you of you've always been there and i say me god bless and replenish your pocket amen all right, so let's continue. So first of all, we're going to use try and error to get the first value of y. And to do that, looking at this, it's very easy to see that y is equal to 1, right? Yes, because when we say y is equal to 1, that implies that when you write your y, this plus 1 we cross to become minus 1 is equal to 0, right? So y equals 1 is, 1 is a root, while y minus 1 equals 0 is what? A factor that is y minus one is a factor so we are going to use one to divide this to get a quadratic equation okay so it's called synthetic division so let's go ahead and do that we are going to use one to divide um bring out the coefficients that's that we have here this is all we have y to the power of three we're supposed to have plus y squared right plus y before we have our constant, which is minus 1 is equal to 0. So since these are not here, since these are not here, that means their coefficients are 0, right? So that means we are going to have the coefficient of y to the power of 3 here is 1. The coefficient of y squared is 0. The coefficient of y is 0. And we have our constant as minus 1. So we are going to first of all bring down this one. It seems this place is small. So let's, instead of doing this here let's bring it up so this is what i'm doing we are going to draw something like this these are the coefficients right then we are dividing through by one first of all we're going to bring down this one all right now one times one will give us one and we add zero plus one is one we multiply again one times one is one and we add zero plus one is one we multiply again. 1 times 1 is 1. And minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So once you're able to get this, that means that 1 is a root. Okay? So we have found what? Our quadratic equation here. So what is the quadratic equation formed? We have 1 y squared. Since it's a quadratic equation, we're going to start from y squared, right? So we have 1 y squared. That is y squared. Plus 1 y. That is y plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation. Now, these are the two factors of this particular um, cubic polynomial. The first one is that y minus 1 is equal to 0, right? So we have y minus 1 multiplied by this. y squared plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from here, we can say that once two brackets are equated to be zero, it simply means that either of these brackets is equal to zero. So it's either y minus one is equal to zero or y squared plus y plus one is equal to zero. So if we solve this further, we we'll get the first value of our y, which is equal to minus one we cross to become plus one. Now here, if we solve this one, we are going to have uh, solve this using the quadratic equation formula. If you have watched to this stage, that means that you're actually enjoying what I'm doing. So please click on the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much.
So we go ahead to solve. We have y squared minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Here our a is what? The coefficient of y squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of y, which is 1. And our c is our constant. Our c is our constant, which is plus 1. So the quadratic equation formula states that your a, your y, okay, is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a all right so that means that our y is equal to minus b that is minus 1 right minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared that is 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by a and a is 1 multiplied by c and c is also 1 everything divided by 2 times a and a is 1 so it's still 2 all right so you have that y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 divided by 2 so we have that y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2. So we can say that y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3i. Alright? Yes. Because this is same thing as square root of 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1. Alright? So when you separate them, you notice that square root of 3 is square root of 3, right? We are not going to reduce it further. Then square root of minus 1 is i. Alright? Divided by 2. Now, we have gotten the first value of y, which is 1, right? So, we are looking for y2 and y3. So, from here, we can say that y2 is minus 1 plus root 3i divided by 2. And y3 is equal to minus 1 minus root 3i divided by 2. So, these are the three values of our y. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.